friends, Laura here with Laura's Crafty Life. Today we're going to talk about how to upload images to Cricut Design Space. So there's two types of images that you can upload. There's basic images or vector images. Basic images are those that you're probably most familiar with. JPEGs, bitmaps, PNGs, and GIFs. These will be downloaded as a single layer. Vector images are SVG and DXF files. These types of images will be automatically separated into layers after uploading and saving. Please note you cannot upload a PDF to Cricut Design Space at this time. A lot of free printables online are PDF files, so make sure you check your file type before trying to upload an image. So to get started, we're going to open Cricut Design Space, select a new project, and then click on the Upload tool in the Design Panel. This will bring up the Upload screen, and from here you can either upload an image or a pattern. So we're going to click Upload Image, and then from here you can either drag and drop your file from your computer or you can search for it. So I'm going to click Browse, and these are just some pretty butterflies I downloaded from Design Bundle, so we're just going to choose one of them and then we're going to click open. From here you're going to select your image type. Is it simple, moderately complex, or complex? A design like this with a lot of different colors and texture and pattern is going to almost always be complex. If you've created a font image for a word art or something like that where it's there's not a lot of details and color, you can choose simple. But as you can see here, if I choose simple, the image doesn't look quite as nice. So we're going to choose complex and then we're going to click continue. On this screen, you can edit your image further. So you can select an erase, erase, or crop. So select and erase allows you to erase a, a portion of your image. So I could select these little circles in the butterfly wing and it deletes them. You can also choose to just erase a portion of the image. So let's say I just don't really want these antenna. I can choose to erase them. You can also choose to crop your image if you just want a portion of it. So you can see how that cropped it. This image is a PNG, so it already has a transparent background. So you can tell it has a transparent background by this checkerboard pattern you see behind the image. If you download a JPEG, you might have a white or a black background that you need to get rid of. So to do that, you would use the Select and Erase tool and you click on the parts of the background you want to remove. If you want the background as part of your image, then don't do that step. So this is something to note. If you're downloading images and have a choice between a JPEG or a PNG, I would almost always choose the PNG because they come on a transparent background and there's a lot less you need to do to make the file the way that you want it to. So once the image looks how you want it to look, you can click preview to see how the image is going to cut. So depending on your project, you may need to see how it's going to cut. And then from here, you're gonna click continue. And now you can choose whether to save it as a print and cut image or just a cut image. So if you save it as a print and cut, it saves all of the details of your image. If you save it as a cut image, it will simply be the area that's going to be cut out around your picture. You can also name your image and then type in some tags so it makes it easier to find it. Once you have everything set how you want it, you're going to click save. And now you can see your image was uploaded to your uploaded images library. If you want to use it in a project, you simply click on it and then click Insert Images. This will add the image to your canvas so you can work with it like any other image you would use in Cricut Design Space. And you can see that it automatically makes it a print and cut image by the little print icon here. Many of the images that you may be already familiar with using in Cricut Design Space work like an SVG file. When you add an image from the Design Space Library to your project, the multiple layers are there for you to show, for you to hide, and for you to change the color of. An SVG or DXF file works in much the same way. So when you upload your own SVG to Cricut Design Space, the layers are available for you to manipulate. So we're going to go to the Upload screen again, and we're going to click Upload Image. We're going to click Browse. We're going to choose one of these images, and we're going to choose the one that says .svg. Click Open. You'll notice with an SVG file, there's no edit screen. So you'll simply name your image and then add some tags, and then click Save. Again, to use it in a project, you're simply going to click on it, 
and click Insert Images. So you can see with the SVG file, each of the different design elements shows up as a separate layer. So you could change the color if you wanted to cut this out of different colors of vinyl or iron-on for your project or even cardstock. You can also choose to hide parts of the design. So as you can see, an SVG file tends to be a little bit more versatile in the ways that you can work with it in Cricut Design Space. The last thing I want to show you is how to upload a pattern to Cricut Design Space. So in this case, again, you're going to click Upload Pattern, then Browse. I'm going to choose this butterfly pattern that I got from the Hungry JPEG. You're going to click Open. From here, you can name your pattern. You can also choose some themes. You could choose a style, and then you can also choose the colors. So choosing these different things help you sort your patterns when you go to use them in Cricut Design Space. So once you have all of these uh, options selected, you're just gonna click Save. And then you'll see here that it shows you that your pattern upload was successful. To find the pattern you wanna work with, we're gonna go back to our canvas. I'm just gonna insert a shape, so I'm just gonna add a simple circle. To use the pattern, you're gonna click on the image you want to add the pattern to in the Layers panel. This will open up the Layers Attributes panel. You'll click Print, and then Patterns, and this will show you all of the patterns that you have uploaded and that come with Cricut Design Space. So this is where it comes in handy if you filled out the theme or the style. You can also do it by different cartridges. So if you're using a cartridge and you need a pattern to match the things that you're using in the cartridge, this works really well. So if we select the one that we just uploaded, this butterfly one, you can see that the circle is now filled with the pattern that we uploaded. One of my favorite ways to use the pattern fill option is when I'm creating stickers for my planner. And I wanted to say, please be sure that you're not violating any type of copyright regulations when you're uploading images. In general, most images are okay for personal use. However, sometimes this isn't the case. If you have a question about whether you're allowed to use an image, you can contact the owner of the image. And if you're using the image for commercial use, let's say in an Etsy shop or on your blog or a product you're selling, make sure you have the proper licensing to be able to do that. Some of my favorite places to download and purchase images, SVGs, and patterns are design bundles, the Hungry JPEG, Etsy, and Creative Market, and I'll link those down below. The ability to add your own images to Design Space allows for infinite possibilities for the types of projects you can create. Whether you're creating your own images or purchasing them, you have a lot more options for truly customizing your projects beyond what is available in the Design Space app. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel and check back for more Cricut Design Space Basics tutorials.